Hello. <laughs> Are we live? We're live. Wow. This is totally surreal. <laughs> never done anything like this before, but we are in a new era and totally new terrain and we're navigating it together. Thank you so much for being here. This is the Caretaker album release show, <coughs> not the show that I originally planned. Um, that was going to be in Brooklyn tonight, but clearly um, I'm home, the same as all of you. Um, <coughs> it's not corona, it's just nerves. <laughs> um, but lucky for me, I happen to be quarantined with an amazing drummer. My husband, Zach, is here. And we've Hi. spent the last week or so getting this set together. We're going to play all of the Caretaker for you. Um, thank you so much for all of the support and messages today. It's, it's been a really exciting um, and momentous day for me. And uh, I really appreciate all the support. All right, let's get to playing. <laughs> Going nowhere fast now Going nowhere fast now Going nowhere fast now Going nowhere fast now I've been running uphill, calm and focused Dragging my hips in the wind, swollen with promise Frustrated in my body Frustrated in my body
<laughs> Thanks, Zach. Wow. Oof. Yeah, this is this is a really crazy experience, I have to say. To be um I should probably turn that off. To be in our in our home, in our living room, um, but also connecting so much farther beyond this room. It's um it's trippy. <laughs> but also really, really special. Okay, more songs. thing? Yes. So we were thinking, um, because we're live, and assuming that some people are watching right now, um, I could maybe take some questions uh, if you have anything you want to ask. Um, I think we're like on a very slight delay from our end to when it's coming to you, so um, I'm going to play a song, and then at the end of the song, um, Zach will pose some questions to me. So. Get your questions in now. <laughs> but it's also okay if you don't have anything you want to ask, that's fine too. Um, we can just play music. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs>
Did we get any questions? Okay. Phew. Um, okay. Zach's going to come in and we're going to have a little question break. Okay. Come have a seat on the subwoofer. Oh, thank you. I will. Sorry, we've got uh, Facebook phone and YouTube phone. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so much technology. Okay. Uh, Julia wonders, what's your favorite song to sing to karaoke? <laughs> um... I have a few favorites, but recently I discovered how much fun it is to sing Total Eclipse of the Heart, especially when you have a good partner to do the back and forth. Um, that's a pretty epic one. Um, okay, there's a lot to scroll through here. Um, <laughs> what, oh, a few people have asked this. What's your favorite song that you've ever written? Oh, that's a really nice question. Oh, can people hear you? I, I, oh, I, what's my favorite song that I've I ever written? Read. I feel like I'm always most excited about the newest song I've written, so probably my favorite song is one you haven't heard yet. <laughs> Get ready. Um, okay. Okay, Pe a bunch of people asking me recommendations for other music to listen to, artists to support. Oh my gosh, so many. You're gonna make me rattle them off now? Um, well, there are a lot of other really great records out today. I can start there. Um, Orion's Sun who's based in Philly. Um, they put out a record today. It's incredible. I was listening earlier. Waxahachie, also great record that came out today. Margaret Glassby. Yeah. I, I mean, there's so many. Yeah, there's, there's so many. It's always, that's always the kind of question when someone's like, what, what have you been listening to? And I immediately forget the name of any person ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm being told to ask the questions into the microphone. Uh, you're the right. people want to hear your deep, beautiful voice. Um, How's the vino? Oh, the vino is so good. Thank you, Nick. I'm really enjoying it. Ooh, do you believe in reincarnation? And if yeah, have you always been a musician? Um, I definitely believe in reincarnation, and I definitely don't think I've always been a musician. I think um, I think I've been many different kinds of animals. Um, definitely a bird, um, but I guess there's a there's a musical spirit in all animals, so maybe it was always there. Are you using a Boss VE20 for your vocal pedal? I am using a Boss VE20 for my vocal pedal. I've 
had it for like six years and I've never used any other vocal pedal. I'm, I'm stuck with this one. I love it. I, I wouldn't give it up. But I did, I'm, I'll just come clean. I, so in Siren, there's a, there's this canon, the, I meant what I told you, that comes in. Um, and we had practiced, I have a looper on this pedal and I've never, or I've performed with a looper live like one time and it was a disaster. So I was like, I never will use the looper. And then we were getting this set together this week. And I was like, I'm gonna loop that section. And we rehearsed it so many times. And then right when that moment came, my foot just refused to hit the loop. And so I just didn't, I didn't do the loop at all. I was like, oh my God, my one chance. So no, I'm never using the looper on this pedal ever again. Do you want more questions? Uh, maybe one more question. What was this album process like, and how is it different from other albums? Well, this album, I, I wrote it in, in one place. Um, I was much more stationary at this point in my life versus previous albums where I was moving around in, in much more transitory space. So I think being in one place, I mean, that enabled me to create this character of the caretaker who's just standing out on the porch and looking out at this landscape um, in summertime, but throughout all seasons. Um, and so I think I was, I was able to kind of embody that, like, that idea of, of watching the seasons pass you by from one stagnant point. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, great. Okay, thank you so much for your questions. Those were, those were awesome. Um, I clearly didn't pass interview 101, which is ask your questions into a microphone. Yeah, it's I got okay. like four text messages. <laughs> like, we can't hear you at all. We didn't really practice that part. Um, but I, I am going to be doing um, a Reddit AMA very soon. So stay tuned for that. I'll be announcing that soon. Um, and I also, I think I'll do probably one of those Insta Live things that's like a little bit more informal. Not that this is very formal at all. Um, but uh, I think, yeah, I would, I would like to just keep up this forum of, of connecting and sharing. Um, because it makes everything better and a lot less scary. All right, should we keep this going? Yeah. <laughs> Did you need to rehearse with Zach a lot before this live stream? Oh yeah, Zach and I have been rehearsing like every day for the last week and a half. Um, we haven't really been been hanging out as a married couple. We've just been hanging out as bandmates. <laughs> Our living room has been completely uprooted. Um, but it's all worth it. <laughs> Actually, no. Zach. Zach used to play in Half Wave, um, and we played we played together for many years. And uh, and then went our separate ways with the projects that we were working on. And so we actually haven't had the chance to play together for a long time. Um, I was realizing that the last time we played together, do you remember when that was? Which one? Michigan. It was at our wedding. <laughs> it was at our wedding last summer, and we played um, "If I Ain't Got You" by Alicia Keys. Oh, we should have dusted that off. Okay, next time. <laughs> All right. Okay. You ready? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm not ready. Oh, I'm also not. <laughs> Shining to the woods, it's mine and mine and mine. With the train running beside, winter came again, brought on me like halogen. You left to see the world, I told you I'd be fine. It's time to go inside.
fun. I think we should leave this set up in our living room, actually. Just play for us. Yeah. 
perfect It happens all the time Anyone have you gone Closing all your doors Before I close mine So a moth was dead That summer morning Find out we really went I see you in the kitchen Making breakfast And not saying
Well, friends, we've reached the end of our journey. I'm gonna play one more song, the last song on the record. Um, but first I wanna say a big thank you. Thank you so much for listening, tuning in, supporting, sharing. It really means the world to me. Um, I wanna say thank you to Anti for being a big part of this journey and um, for all the support and enthusiasm. And I wanna give a very big shout out to Andy Wilson, my manager. It's Woo! her birthday today. Happy birthday, Andy. I love you. Thank you for everything. Um, and also thank you again to Zach. Woo -woo! This was really fun, huh? You're doing great. <laughs> okay, this song is called Window Place. to believe but I'm finding my way 